Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine limits at infinity on the TA-89 graphing calculator. We'll be using the limit function under the calculus menu. To access the calculus menu, we press F3. So to determine this first limit, we'll press F3, and then either highlight number three and then press enter or just press three. Next, we enter the function, and we do need the numerator denominator in parentheses. So we'll have open parenthesis, 2x raised to the power of 2 plus 5, close parenthesis, divided by, open parenthesis, 5x raised to the power of 2 plus 8x, close parenthesis, comma, the variable, which is x, comma, because x is approaching positive infinity, we need to enter infinity here. To do this, we press diamond catalog, close parenthesis, and enter. The limit is equal to two-fifths. We are in exact mode, which we can see here. We did want the decimal for two-fifths. We can press diamond enter. So the limit is equal to two-fifths or 0 0.4. We should recognize this because notice how the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same. And therefore, as x approaches infinity, this limit equals the ratio of the leading coefficients, which is two-fifths. For the next limit, x approaches negative infinity. Let's go through this process again for review. So we'll press F3, number three, enter the function. So open parenthesis, 8x minus x raised to the power of three, close parenthesis, divided by open parenthesis, x squared. So x raised to the power of two minus two, x raised to the power of four, close parenthesis, comma, the variable is x, comma, x is approaching negative infinity, so we enter negative infinity, so negative, and then diamond catalog, close parenthesis, and enter. And notice how this limit is equal to zero, which again we should recognize because notice how the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, and therefore as x approaches infinity or negative infinity, the function value will approach zero. And now to determine our last limit, the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared divided by the quantity x minus three. We could edit this previous entry, but I think it's almost just as fast to go through the whole process again. So we'll press F3, number three, and then for our function, because the numerator is just x squared, we don't need parentheses. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter x raised to the power of two divided by, open parenthesis, x minus three, close parenthesis, comma, x, comma, infinity, which again is diamond catalog, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice here, the calculator indicates the limit is equal to positive infinity. Because infinity doesn't exist, this limit does not exist, but we typically do write equals infinity, which gives us more information about what's happening with this limit, but then also indicate the limit does not exist using the letters D and E. I hope you found this helpful.